my god. He's a big Hi. boy. Get strong. Get accustomed to lifting under fatigue and also long endurance. I don't know what that is, but before the game season, I've been doing, I was doing like lots of long rowing intervals, long skiing intervals. I hated those. They helped so much. And then okay. get big. Get strong. Yes. Just, get, just eat more. Get fit. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Be Stellar podcast. I'm your host, Stella Atwood. This is mom producer Meredith Atwood. And on today's episode, we have Hunter Nibia. Yay! Yay. So let's let's pull up the pictures of these pets first, because I always like to start with the pets, because it's a nice little icebreaker. And pets are fun. Tell us about this beauty. Actually, no, I'll start with when we got him. So one day, my sister and my my parents and my sister, they go hunting a lot. So they come back out of nowhere with a cat. And my little brother, he wants to name him Johnny Fox. And then everyone just starts calling him Puffs. So he doesn't really have a name. I guess it's Johnny Fox, but it's kind of not. The point five picture is hilarious. Stella, did you provide one of a point five of your cat? Because they're kind of the same. Oh, oh I'll, I'll go looking. You need to go look and then pull it up. The airplane. D- Hunter, what do you call these ears? In the US, we call them airplane ears. Mean ears. And means in about a minute or so, he's going to bite you. Yeah. 100%. The loaf That's is. That's the only pet picture I have. What other pet pictures do you have, Stella? That's all I have. But I just, I know we probably shouldn't. Said pets. Pets. Well, we can just say he has another pet that we cannot he talk about. He has another pet that we cannot talk about. Or. <laughs> reasons of sorts but y'all should just dm hunter and figure it out because it's a very interesting pet that i will want to learn more about after the recording when we can talk about it <laughs> anyways back to crossfit so in the we survey, never were in crossfit <laughs> going, going into crossfit there we go in the survey we sent out to you you said that at 12 years old you broke your leg and at 17 years old you ended up at the crossfit games Can you talk about what it was like to recover and come back from an injury and how it was mentally to go through an injury? Going through an injury, I kind of lost all motivation to do anything physical. Like I used to really love trampolining. And then once I broke my leg, the urge to jump just kind of faded. And then my dad got me into CrossFit for rehab. From there, I really enjoyed it. So keep going, keep going, and eventually beat it. Talk about your sports background. You said trampolining. It's not really a sport, but I used to do freestyle trampolining. It's I'm not I'm not really sure what it is, but you kind of just jump around on the trampoline doing crazy tricks. I mean, trampolining is an Olympic sport. Yeah, but that's not what you were doing. You weren't doing like the yeah. how like how do you think doing that kind of helped you do CrossFit? Maybe like body awareness. Uh, or do yeah. you think it was just like a hobby that you did and you were like, I don't I think, think it helped me? it was more like a hobby. Yeah. But I should know, yeah, it was more of a hobby. Did you do any other sports growing up? I played soccer. I played touch. Do you guys know what touch is? No. Touch is, there'll be seven people and then you have a ball and you have to run around them without getting touched by them and then put the ball down to school. I feel like that would be fun. I, I would do that. But we don't have that here in the U.S. You can start it, Stella. I could start it. So you won the Olympic total at the games. Are you tied for first? And during the snatch, you did like a cool celebration pose. Can you like talk about what made you want to do that? I planned on winning that. Like I planned on actually, I planned on dominating it because I knew that I'm a big man, big dude, big lifts. You just like shushed the crowd. I was like, whoa. And then are those rubber ducky socks? Yeah. So those have a bit of a story. In 2021, 
I think it was. I did my first in-person comp, and I wore those socks for the Olympic total. I snatched 100, and then I clean and jerked 120. In American units, that's 220 snatch and... 220 and 255. Yeah. Clean and jerk. And what else? You were telling a story. Oh, that, that was the story. Oh. Behind the, <laughs> I was like, what else? Background, but... I was like, tell me more about these socks. Socks. I have I special hate, socks, too. I hate plain socks. I'm not a fan of plain socks. I just have a texture issue, too. I don't like how they felt. So all my socks now are just like either they're mismatched or they've got like some sort of joke written on it. Or there's rubber duck socks. They're I like think that's soft hilarious. socks. Dress socks. Dress socks, yeah. I prefer my plain socks. Just regular, not ankle socks, just plain ones. Anyways, the story the story behind that celebration, please tell. Or did you just do it? I just did it. Then I was thinking of something. And I just came up with that in the moment. Did you do it again and again? Is that like your thing now? Or it was just a- No. I think the only reason I did that is because that wasn't my, that's not my max. Mm. Like, that was, that wasn't real. it was a heavy lift, but it was maybe only 95%. Oh. Did you have like a plan going into it or did you just go into that workout and being like, I can just put on weight and just see what I can do? Or were you like, I'm going to hit these numbers? Um, the, so the day before I hurt my ankle, so I knew that I wouldn't be able to hit what I wanted. So me and my coach, he's my dad. Um, we were just like, it was like, see how you feel while you're warming up. There's like a 10 minute break in between your last warm up and your first opener. So just go off feeling. You said you hurt your ankle. Was that on the run for, on Friday? Yeah. So on the first event at the last corner, I rolled my ankle and then there was a dude behind me. So I sprinted past them. Um, didn't want to lose. <laughs> and then I wasn't really, um, like it hurt, but it wasn't bad. It was more of a mobility restriction. So I couldn't go very far over my, t- uh, over my toes. Besides CrossFit, what are your hobbies? Like, what do you do outside of CrossFit? Recently, I've gotten into weightlifting. I did my country secondary school nationals weightlifting. Is that, is that right? Yeah. I did a weightlifting comp for the first time. And then I'm doing another one soon. Um, gaming. I like gaming. playing games. What games do you like to play? Minecraft. Oh, that's and a solid one. Sometimes Roblox. Bit of Fortnite. Bit of everything. Oh, yeah. Roblox, Stella. Oh, Roblox. I had a Roblox phase back in back in the olden days. What happened with that? Didn't your account like get Bro, I like forgot my password and I and you had locked like yourself a, out. Yeah, I like locked myself out. I hold I had a whole house built on Bloxburg too. So sad. I anyway, so. out of one of my accounts. Some dude said he was going to give me a Robux, and I believe that. Now, now, why would you believe that? I was like eleven. You did the same yeah. thing, Stella. Like I, <laughs> I, I was the one scamming people. Oh, <laughs> you did something. I don't remember what it is, but you did something criminal with your Roblox account. I don't remember what it was. It it wasn't <laughs> believing a scammer. I know oh. that. I was too smart for that. What if you and Hunter, what if y'all were on the Bloxburg or whatever together and you were you were the one who scammed him? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Probably. It's mean. You shouldn't scam people. That's very mean. <laughs> Look, man, I had a criminal past, okay? She's she's changed her ways. I have changed my ways. 
if you had to describe yourself in one sentence, how would you describe yourself? What about one word? That's too easy. It is? <laughs> Big. Big. How about you, Mom? Big. <laughs> in different ways. Just Jeez. fluffy. Fluffy. How about you, Stella? Funny. Really? One word? You are funny. Yeah. Or like just not funny, but just weird. I'd say I'm, I'd say I'm weird. You're not weird. I'm a little weird. But not in like the side where it's like, oh, she's weird. I never want to talk to her. It's more not like, in the hunter's pet kind of weird. That's weird. Oh, you shall not speak of it. Shall not speak. <laughs> so, in semifinals, you placed twenty second, and then you place fifth at the games. What did you focus on during games training to prepare you for the unknown during the games? Um. I'm on HWPO Pro, so they do a lot of, a lot of, I think in between like quarterfinals and semifinals, they did a lot of kettlebell work, and then from there, they kind of switched to a lot of dumbbell work, like, you know, uh, side lunges, dumbbells. Overhead, this was really common. Overhead walking lunges. I hated those, but it's good because they came in. They came into play on the that event. What what event was it? The AMRAP one with the yeah. barbell slips and toast bar. So talk a little bit more about like your dad, because you said your dad coaches you. What is that like? Um, so when, like, after I broke my leg and up until I was about 15, 16, he, he was, like, really there for me. Every training, he was there. He'd give me tips on my form. Keep your arms straight, chest up. Um, tells me to stop resting when I'm in the middle of the month. Get up! <laughs> and then now I've kind of learned. I've learned a lot from him. He doesn't. He doesn't really have to be there anymore, but he does. I need to ride. I can't drive. How old are you? Are you seventeen? Yeah, I'm seventeen. Are you moving up to the individual division? Yeah. It's a bit funny though, because I turn eighteen after next year's semi final, but not close enough to the games for it to be passed. Oh, uh, so you're like right on the cutoff. Yeah. Yeah. That that's annoying. But hey, you'll you'll be like one of the youngest people in the individual division. So hopefully you can beat some of the older folks and be like, ha, I'm younger than you. <laughs> Take that. I don't know. Um, talk a little bit about your family and kind of what it was like growing up and how your family supports you while you were at the games. Um, uh, we are the the semifinals for yeah, the semifinals is in a different country, but they have a teenage division. So all of my family went over there, like my my cousin, my grandparents, my parents, my sister, brother. And then when I went to America, it was a bit too expensive. So they stayed back and my dad went with me. And then when I was competing, they all went to they all came to my house and slept on the couch and watched TV, watched me watch me compete. It was I saw them right before an event, my dad called them. Um 
the game is from my mission. They really, they really spoil me. Um, Where do you live? I am my neighbors. <laughs> not your address. Not just your, your exact general just location. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to send you postcards or go New visit. <laughs> New Zealand. What's your favorite part about living in New Zealand? Never been there before, so explain. Um, favorite part? Definitely the pies. So, do you guys know what a bakery is? Yeah. I think it's so, the same thing, a I bakery. think it's the same thing we're thinking of. Yeah. So, do you guys, wait, do you guys have, like, corner shops? Oh, you have? Gas stations. Stores, they? Yeah, convenience yeah. stores. Like, in so, New York City, like, in the city, they have, like, bodegas mm -hmm. or corner stores. But, yeah, we have, like, down-the-street stores. <laughs> So we have those, except we call them bakeries, and they sell they sell a lot of pies. These aren't traditional pies; these are like savory pies. Like um, classic is mince and cheese pie, butter mm -hmm. chicken pie, um, bacon and egg pie. They're really good. Love them. You can't really get them anywhere else apart from Australia, because. I like most pies in America, like apple pies, blueberry pie. Are they? Mm -hmm. What, like, so your favorite part of New Zealand is pies? Food, I guess. <laughs> uh, um, All that gorgeous scenery, and you're going with the corner bakery I pies. I mean, hey. <laughs> That we gotta go. We gotta get some of these pies. I mean, yes. <laughs> oh, and the nature, I guess it's. And the nature, not, I guess. <laughs> it's not um, crowded with buildings and everything. It's real, it's real open. There's a bunch of trees. Now I can hear the birds. Yeah. Birds, birds are nice. We have we have a few birds here. <laughs> Yes, we have birds. We have a lot yes. of squirrels. Do you Ew. guys have squirrels or something equivalent? Chipmunks? No. We, no? The only thing equivalent would be the possum. Oh, we don't know about that. Yeah, those don't exist. Oh, we we have a few possums here, but they're not, like, everywhere. We just have a bunch of, like, squirrels and, like, a lot of... Chipmunks. Chipmunks. And then if you go up to Utah which is near Las Vegas and stuff, and you go to Zion National Park, which is like a hiking place, they have the most friendliest squirrels, and they're so fat. It's really crazy. They'll just come up to you and, like, stand on your leg. They're, like, the size of rabbits mm -hmm. or possums. Small possum size, probably. Yeah, and they're yeah. just very friendly. I don't get it. I wish I was a squirrel, and then there's another life <laughs> okay what does a normal day of training look like for you um very intense very intense like training twice a day six days a week um mondays will be i'll be squatting snatching and i think c2 bike and schools alongside accessories. They'll be split up into a morning and afternoon session. Then Tuesday I'll be doing uh, strict press or bench press, I think, alongside running and maybe another cardio piece. Wednesday is like an active recovery day, but it's still training. I'll be doing a zone two either bike or run and then i'll be swimming thursdays i will be doing cleaner jerks and then a wad and accessories friday um i think it's strict press 
or bench press. They kind of fluctuate, those two. And then I'll have maybe rowing or something. And then on Saturday, everyone loves Saturdays, we do power clean and directs and also power snatches. Um, accessories, another zone two, and a Emon 40. Always an Emon 40, no matter. Ew. So that's a lot of training that you're doing. How do you stay recovered? Like, what does your recovery look like if you ever do recover? <laughs> um, most of it is just adapting to the training volume, getting good quality rest, um, making sure you space your training out sufficiently, and make sure you're eating lots. I eat a lot, like. Realistically, I'm eating about 3,500 calories a day. I think that's, like, how much I eat. No, you don't. I don't know how many... in pies, though. Oh, true. I don't, I don't know how many calories I eat right now. Around 2,800, probably. Oh, dang, you are eating a lot. Because I feel like I'm eating a lot. I'm. Are you bulking right now? No, right now I'm actually cutting for my next weightlifting comp. That's in a couple of days. I'm a little bit overweight. I'm on 2,000 calories. I'm pretty much just straight chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what weight class are you trying to be in? Um, the 89s. Right now I'm about 90 and a half. Oh, not That's like 196 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Now, like, so you say you just eat chicken. Can you walk us through, like, a day of eating? Like, what do you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? When you get to eat. When, if, you, if you ever eat. <laughs> when you're not cutting for weightlifting, what do you get to eat? Wait, before I answer that, um, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I can hear you. Can you still hear me? Yes. Okay. I don't think your microphone was working. <laughs> yeah, I just... I... Yeah, I changed. Um, So, a normal day of eating, some days I'll have overnight oats. Um, I love, I love different flavors. I love chocolate the most, but occasionally I'll have maybe berry flavor or vanilla. And then on a special day, when I don't really want to eat oats, I'll have some protein fresh toast or protein pancakes or um, bacon and eggs. I really love bacon and eggs. Four eggs, two slices of bacon, two pieces of toast. Mm. Very delicious. Um, after training, I'll normally have like a shake protein shake or something just protein and water because then i'll go to school i'll have a lunch pack normally that lunch will be uh what maybe a wrap taco some fried rice i don't know just depends on that and then at school, we get given lunches, so I'll eat maybe one or two of those, depending on what day it is. Sometimes they serve really nice food, and in other days, they serve, like, slop. Wait, so what does school lunch look like in New Zealand? Our school is really fancy. They give us heated meals, which is lovely, and for free. They're for free. But we do have a canteen that you can buy food from. So they'll give us like mac and cheese with bacon bits. Well, not really bacon bits, more like ham bits. They'll do chicken and rice. They'll do chicken and beef, I think. They'll do, they do lots, mainly pasta and rice in a form of protein. They also do, um, What's it called? Nachos. I love nachos. 
They'll do nachos. They'll give us chips, and then they'll give us um. What's it called? Like the. What cheese? is the thing you dip? You nacho dip? cheese. Oh no no no! It's Guacamole. sorry. You guys have like a salsa. It's <laughs> sounds different. like we use like a beef, like a beef slop mixture. It tastes nice. It does oh. not look appealing, but it tastes very nice. Oh, ground then, beef. Ground beef. Yeah, refried oh. beans. <laughs> I'm just thinking of what's on the nacho. Lettuce? No. It's... Oh, chili. Yeah, chili. What do you guys call chili? Yes, got it. Yeah, beef slop. That's that's like, right. That's exactly what chili is. it's delicious. We love chili. But your lunches sound much more better than our lunches. We get, like, fish sticks. The U.S. is the worst. It really sucks. Although, like, I don't... I did hear two lunch, though. You have stories about two lunches. Yeah, but he eats them to fuel. I used to eat them as a kid just because I wanted two lunches. <laughs> Back in the fourth grade, or the fourth year, whatever y'all call it, um, I would pack my lunch for school, and then I would eat it, and then I would go get a second lunch from the cafeteria. So I'd have two lunches. But that's back when I was playing soccer, and I was a little chubby, little chubby eight-year-old. It was just eating two lunches. And so now my family calls me Two Lunch Stella. We do not call you Two Lunch Stella. We oh, only call you Two you Lunch Stella when you're acting like Two Lunch Stella. What what did Two Lunch Stella act like? When she's going to get a second lunch. <laughs> when you're like, at home and you ate lunch and you go get another lunch. We're like, in Two my Lunch defense, Stella. In my defense, I am bulking. Okay, We're I'm not drunk. making fun of you. We're just... I mean, a girl. You actually eat. named yourself Two Lunch Stella. Don't. James did. My big brother did. Don't come at me because someone's gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, her, her family." family hates her. Like, not true. I'm like twelve lunch mom, so whatever. Like, there's no like, no so, judgment here. Anyways, <laughs> if you could pick one moment from the games that haunts you in your sleep. What what moment would you pick if you have like an embarrassing one? Embarrassing. I've got a, I've got a few, but they're not really embarrassing. I'm more so disappointed at them. Mm. I'm disappointed at the pistol event, the AMRAP. So, cause of my injury, I couldn't really pistol on this league. It, it was it was difficult. So I, I fell over a couple of times. Also on my war balls. I was I got like ten no reps. Bro, me too. Which lane were you in? Mm, like seven or six. Oh, Bro, I bet that was your six? girl. That was my judge. She no reps me so many times on the wall balls. I got I got a dude. He was no. nice about it though. Okay. He <laughs> was nice about it. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Stella's um, on a mission uh, about this one judge. Oh, actually, no. the The most embarrassing thing was the second event. I was so gassed out from that first event. Like the the part B. So the part A. That was the fastest I've ever run. I have never run faster than a six minute twenty mile. I know I'm big, big. Um, and then on the second second part. So, you know how we all went in groups of 10? I was in the second group. So, boom, we run. I fall back. I'm gassed. Here comes everyone from the third pack. They pass me at the end. And when I'm running up the hill, RJ shoves me out the way. But before that, my friend, his name's uh, Josh Strange, came night. He, like, just runs past me, ran past everyone. He's so fast. It hurt my feelings, low-key. I got gassed by, like, 30 seconds. That's crazy. Yeah, I get that, because, like, I was, in, I was in the second one, too, and I think girls from the fourth one got up to me. <laughs> and then another one on the first run... The guys caught up to me, which is like, okay, I get it. But like, it was annoying. It's like, I could have just made it to the finish line before the guys trampled me. 
But that made sense because they only started like two minutes behind you. I think it was like five minutes behind us. And I was just like, no, it couldn't have been. I just heard thump, 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 thump. And I'm like, oh, no, here they come. Caden Cleveland caught you because it's in a photo. Freaking (laughs) Caden. Who claims he can't run caught you. Who claims he can't run past me at the finish line. I was like, damn you, Caden. But it's fine. We're two. We're two big people. So that was. I don't know. Wait, what was your moment, Stella? You said you asked Hunter what his haunting moment was. Do you have one? Um, I don't have any like embarrassing ones that are like, oh dang, I wish I didn't do that. But except the false start. Oh yeah, we had a false start on the D ball event, and like my whole heat went. I did six reps on the D ball before I noticed it was a false start. So that that was kind of embarrassing. I thought it was five, but either. But way. then I think I don't know. It was either five or six. It was. It should have just been zero reps. I should have stood on my mat. <laughs> that was embarrassing. But I think like a haunting one was the ring muscle up event, just because like that's just one that's like stay awake at night thinking about. It's so bad. Anyways, last question or second to last. What is your hidden talent? If you have one. I can do a backflip. It's not really hidden. I can do a backflip though. That's like my party trick, I guess. Um, bro was like, I can do a backflip. <laughs> Honestly, I would love to do a backflip. But then I have a huge fear of falling on my neck, so. Oh my god, wait. I'm going to send you a video. I have a video of me landing on my neck. No, 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 send it, send it. Okay. Or show okay. the camera. I'll, I'll send, oh, wait, yeah, yeah. So, well, if you email it, I can pull it up on the thing, but or you can show it on the camera. I'll show it on the camera real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, kinda, okay. yeah right. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, at least it was a trampoline, though. And I thought you were about to show oh, something gosh. like on the ground. So she's like, oh no, he did not just eat it. Like, if you just did a backflip on grass or something and then you just land on your neck. We could show your terrible pull up bar. We've never shown it. It's <laughs> Honestly, never been shown. might as well. I think it, it's been a year. So, like, last May, I flew off the pull up bar doing chest bar and I scorpioned, landed on like my upper back and my neck. It pains me to even oh. look at this. Like that one fail video where the dude's doing butterflies and then he falls and then he lands on and kicks his butt. Yeah, that's kind of what it was. All right. It's going to take me a minute to find this. Are you sure you want this out there? Yeah. I mean, I think it. I think I'm at the point in my life where I feel like I can laugh at it. Oh, I can't even watch it. My um iPhone updated and now like where where I'm such an old lady, like where are my albums? Where is everything? Just scroll back it. on your phone till May of last year. I got year. it. I'm going to have to hold on. Let me airdrop it to myself. Okay. Um. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. I flew off a pull-up bar. Hurt myself. But we're good <sighs> now, so it's fine. It's fun. It's funny. Like, you're allowed to laugh at it now. It wasn't funny a year ago, but it, it's funny now. All right, let me. Oh no, this is still not funny. All right, I'm gonna play it. Just close your eyes, mom. It's fine. <sighs> Maybe you don't. Turn if the if you had the up. volume up, yeah, you can hear me go ah because I'm like right there. All You're right, like ah, here. oh my god, staring, playing. Oh, you can hear it. There is volume. <laughs> oh, wait, we play it again. Let's see it again. Over. Oh, wait, you pause it at where it. I land. Pause it uh. like how I land on the floor. God, my sound. It's like right there. What is that? Oh, uh, ah, ah! There she is. I thought she died, bro. Literally, like, I don't even. Except know this how is I'm... the best part. There I am again. Watch how quick she just stands up. Because like the fact that you like stood up so quick was it, impressive. <laughs> you were out of it though. No, bro. I I was chill. It was fine. It actually wasn't fine. Anyways, we went on a little side quest there. If you could give advice to a teen athlete who wants to make the games or win an Olympic weightlifting event, what would your advice be? It starts a year before. Like, it starts before it even... Before the game season even starts, it starts. It's on. 
You need to get strong. That's very important, I think. A lot of these athletes weren't that strong. Like, they couldn't snatch under fatigue, and it showed in that, I think it was the semifinals or the quarterfinal. Mm -hmm. Get strong, get accustomed to lifting under fatigue, and also long endurance. I don't know what that is, but before the game season, I've been doing, I was doing, like, lots of long rowing intervals, long skiing intervals. I hated those. They helped so much. And then... Okay. Get big. Get strong. Yes. Just get, just eat more. Get fit. Just eat more. Make get sure. Big. Make sure that you're not freaking out on the on the floor as well. Like if you made it, congrats, you deserve to be there. You're just as good as anyone else on that floor. We've I never like heard that. that advice before, but that was But like get big and don't freak out is awesome yes. advice. That yeah. should be your new t shirt. Get, get big, big, don't, don't freak, freak out. out. And that concludes the podcast episode. <laughs> Get big and don't freak out. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. Anything else you want to add that we didn't cover? Uh, yep. This is my kit in person. Oh. Here he is. Oh, hello. Oh my god. He's a big hi. boy. That cat is eating and getting big and getting strong. Yeah, that cat got big and is not freaking out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're in part two. Let's hear about the other animals. We talked about the one we're not allowed to discuss, so you all never know. Now we're talking about yeah. other animals. All right. <laughs> Three piggies. One kinny kinny. There's this t- a special type of breed. I don't know what. They have these little dangly things over here, and they do no. They serve no purpose. They just there. Anyway, three piggies. Um, three chickens. Cause two got. Wait, no. Two chickens because three got eaten by the dogs. Um, twelve dogs, I think. Four puppies. Um, two retired hunting dogs. One little puff tart. Um, Did and you then say a pop tart. <laughs> puff tart. He's like really a furry. Pop-tart. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um. And then the rest are all hunting dogs. They so hunt. wait a minute. When you said bro, you had a bro pet. sends us one picture one of a cat. cat and is like, we got 25 animals. <laughs> you failed to leave out like the 25 others like in the oh. pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, a lamb and three cows. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's just, that's it. Just casually, <laughs> we have one animal, one cat. She's named Tia. Tia Her Claire. Name's Tia. Tia Claire Turtle. Is all that right. all your animals? <laughs> yep. That's okay. It. Okay. <laughs> all right, Stella. Anything else? <laughs> no. But if if he's like, oh dang, I forgot to say another animal, and text me, because. I love animals. Anyways, thank you. Bye. Bye. King of the jungle, heart of a lion. Four, three, two, one. Watch out, here I come. This is my time.